What's up guys? Today we're going to be taking a look at Friends by Marshmello and Anne-Marie. This is going to be an intermediate arrangement. You're going to need a tuner to put your guitar into an alternate tuning, and you're going to need a capo as well. So if you're good to go, let's get started with the intro. Alright guys, so I play this in an alternate tuning. It's basically open G minor with an E flat bass note. So the strings are E flat, G, D, G, B flat, and D. Once you've got that, grab a capo, stick it on the second fret. Now it should sound like this. So I'll put the tabs along the bottom for you. So this is going to be the first string, and this is going to be the sixth string. The first bar of the intro sounds like this. So that's starting on this card, which is all open. You've got the first three strings and the fifth string. So hit them together as like a finger roll. And then you're coming on to the first string, seventh fret, and you're going to slide up to the eighth fret. I use my third finger for that, and then I come back down with my second finger onto the seventh fret. And then we're doing another slide, this time on the second string, it's coming up from the eighth fret to the ninth fret. Once you've done that slide, you've got to bring your thumb over, get onto the seventh fret, hit that along with open first. Then, you're taking your 2nd and 3rd fingers, putting them onto the 8th fret of the 1st string and the 4th string. And then you hit 4, 2, open, 1. And that's the whole 1st bar, so let's do that slowly. With the second bar, it sounds like this. So for that, you're going to come from the 7th fret down to the 5th fret with open 6. You can do that as a slide, or you can just hit the notes like that. And then, 2nd fret, 2nd string. Then we've got a stretch here, so that's going to be the, uh, the high notes on the 1st string are on the 5th fret and the 4th fret. And we've got the bass note is the 1st fret of the 4th string. So hit the bass note and the 5th fret of 1st string. Then take your 1st finger off that and just move your finger down 1 on the 1st string to the 4th fret and hit those two together. That's the first two bars. That repeats again with a slight difference at the end, so let's play through that again to the end. A 
At this point, when you take your finger off and do the fourth fret, you're gonna hit it once, and then two more times quickly. Then you're gonna mute that, and we get straight into the verse. Okay guys, so coming into the verse, the first bar is like this. So that's based around two chords. The first chord is just open strings. The second chord is up here, like that. So sticking on the first chord, starts the same way as the intro, all open strings. After that, we're gonna hit the first string and the fourth string open. And then you're bringing your finger, I use my second finger, onto the second fret of the second string. Hit that, and then open first, and then second string again. Once you've got that pattern down, you're gonna move to the other chord, and it's basically the same thing, so it should be quite easy if you can do the first part. So that's gonna be two and five together, two by itself, four, three, two, three. And that shape there, I'm holding on the third fret, I've got the third, fourth, and fifth strings held down, and then second string, second fret as well. So that pattern again. So I'll play that bar slowly. Once again, slower. Next bar is like this. This is similar again, it's quite easy. It's all open again, but the bass note this time is gonna be the open sixth string. Goes like this. So that's open six and two. Second string again, open. Four, three, two, all open. Then you bring your finger onto the second fret, second string. And then to end this bar, take your first finger, put it up on the fourth string, first fret, hit that along with open third string. Take it off, and then it's open third and fourth together. So that bar slowly. Then it starts to repeat again. At this part, it's slightly different. Instead of going like... It sounds like this. So this bar, you're starting the same again. You've got two and six open together. Then just the second string. Then the fourth string, third string, second string open. And then, instead of going on to the second fret, second string, we're hitting open third again. At this point, instead of doing that chord there, you're gonna make this shape. So I've got my first finger, is on the same bass note as previously, but now I've got my third finger on the second string, second fret. Hit those together. And then I like to bring my second finger onto the second fret, third string, and hit that with the open uh, fourth string. Okay, this is where it starts to change a bit, so let's play through that first section of the verse. Okay, so you should have that now. On to the next bar. So 
slightly more difficult. We're starting with this bass note, open fifth, and you're on the third fret of the first string. Hit those two together, and then come on off for a pull off, first fret to open on the first string. Then bringing your second finger up to the second string, second fret, hit that with open fourth, and then open third. Next we have a harmonic run. And you want to hit that with the seventh fret on the sixth string here. It can, it's pretty difficult to get that seventh fret because you're having to hold down this bass note and then lightly rest the rest of your finger on the fret. You could probably get away with only doing the 12th fret and just do the same pattern, which is two, four, three, four. But if you can, try and make the second note on the seventh fret. After you've hit those harmonics, third string open. The next bar well, sounds like this. So we're starting again with uh, pull-offs here, and you've got the open sixth string. So that's going to be three to one to zero on the first string. And then we're coming up here again, second fret, second string, hit that once, and then again with the bass note. The bass note this time is going to be open fourth. Then we're hitting that again, second string, Take your finger off, open, put it back on, second fret, second string, with this bass note again, which is first fret, fourth. Once you've hit those two together, you're on open first. Then, as usual, we're taking our finger off to get that open fourth bass note. Then, take your finger off, open second. So that bar. Take some practice. The last two bars are probably the most difficult so far, they'll take a little bit of practice. But then the next bar, similar again. Basically just the first bar of the verse again. The next part, we're hitting these notes, this bar sounds like this. So for this, we're starting on the 3rd fret, we've got the 3rd and the 5th strings, same note, octave apart, you're going to hit them, slide down to the 2nd fret, and then hit them again and pull off to open, then come up to the 12th fret, hit the same two strings together but as harmonics, so remember it is less resting our finger lightly, and then pull it away like that. And then we introduce the slaps. So, as usual, hopefully you're familiar with doing the slaps. It's gonna be on the top couple of strings. And as we do this, we're gonna slide up like that. So that's from the third to the fifth fret on the first string. And then hit it again once more. That leads us into the pre-chorus. Okay, so coming into the next section, sounds like this. So we've got the slaps, they're on the second and the fourth beat of each bar, it's fairly common. And these continue for the rest of the song now. It'll be a lot easier if you can get the tabs and you can practice this without doing the slaps, like... Um, just like that, just like really slowly. And then once you're really confident with it, the slaps should just come naturally. It'll be a lot easier than practicing the slaps straight away. So I'll try and do a mix of teaching you with and without doing the slaps. So the first bar, coming up, we've slid up here, remember? So we're still here. And you want to hit 
first three strings, open fifth. Pull that off, and then get open first. Then coming straight in for that four string bass note really quickly. And then back on second fret, second string. Open first again. The next chord, this one here, it's all on the third fret. You're on the first, third, and fifth strings. So I hit, I like to hit the first, second, and fifth. And then take your finger off the bottom, hit uh, open first, open fourth, open first, and Put your finger back down onto the third fret of the first string. And with the slaps. The next chord, you're going to be holding this shape. So we're on the first fret now. And you've got your first finger on that uh, bass note that we're used to the 1st fret, 4th string, and you've got open 6 as well. You've also got your 2nd finger on the 1st fret of the 6th string. So hit the bass note, open 6, with the first two strings, and then you've got 4th string, which is on the 1st fret. Open 3rd, take your finger off the 1st string, hit that open 1st, and then 2nd fret, 2nd string. that same bass note again, then we're sliding up to the 5th fret, getting ready to go back into that repetition, throwing it once, once again with the slap, and then once again. So those first two bars, then the next two bars, Exactly the same. The next bar, slightly different, more difficult, takes a little bit of practice this one. So it starts the same way, but instead of taking your finger off and doing open, we're coming up to the seventh fret. Then when you do the slap, you want to quickly move your finger up to the twelfth fret relative to the capo, so it would be 14 normally, and you do the slap and try and get those harmonics. I hit, the, I hit the first three strings generally. Then you want to bounce back and get the seventh fret on the first string. Once you've hit that seventh fret, we're coming back down to the third fret here and the fifth fret here. Hit them together, so that's 5th string and 1st string. Then open 3rd uh, string straight away, so that's quite quick. Take your finger off the 1st string, hit that open, and then 2nd fret, 2nd string with the slap, and then by itself. Next bar. So you're still on the second fret, second string. You're gonna hit that with open six. Open fourth, third. First fret, first string. Open first string. Next chord, remember we've got the next bass note, so that's gonna be first fret, uh, fourth string. And then we're back on to this 5th fret stuff again, so same as before, one's by itself, one for the slap, and then by itself again. At this point, instead of going into repetition by hitting the 5th uh, fret 1st string three times, we're going to be on the 2nd string 2nd fret still, and we're going to hit that a few more times like this. 
that leads into the chorus. So you're going to hit that three times by itself, once with the slap, and then once more. Okay guys, so coming into the chorus, after you've done those kind of leading in notes, the first bar sounds like this. So, starts on the same 2nd fret, 2nd string, back to the 1st chord bass note, which is open 5th. Hit those two together, 2 and uh, 5. Lift your finger off, open 2nd, open 3rd. Slap. And we've got some harmonics here. So I hit the, f uh, it's all in the 12th fret. I hit the 4th string and then the 2nd and 3rd strings. And then we have to hit this bass note. So I like to do the harmonics and then just come on and tap that. So it's basically, you're just tapping your finger pretty hard right on the 7th fret, 6th string. Then we've got open first. Three times and then a fourth time with the slap. Then we're coming down to the fifth fret on the third string. So that first bar slowly. Next bar. So that's starting where the last bar ended on the fifth fret of the third string. And you've now got the open six bass notes. So hit those two together. Then open fourth, open second. Then you're putting your third finger onto the fifth fret of the second string. And doing the slap. Then bring your second finger down to the fourth fret. At that point, you want to really quickly get down for the next bass note, which is 1st fret, 4th string. Then, it's the same way that we got into the chorus in the first place. 2nd fret, 2nd string. 4 times, and then another time, after you've done it with the slap. So the repetition, slightly different. So it starts off the same. At this point, you don't do the harmonics. You just have a like a break, and then open third, third fret fifth, open first twice, slap and hit it again, and then second fret second string twice. next bar should be quite easy, it's just open 6th bass note, slap, 1st fret, 4th string bass note, and then that part again on the 2nd string, 2nd fret. So at that point, for the second part of the chorus, we're just going to play the intro again, but this time we're doing our slaps. So you'll need to kind of practice a little bit more, because it's slightly more difficult to play with the slaps. Should sound something like this. At that point, you're back into the verse, and then the pre-chorus, and the pre-chorus, and the chorus again. After that, we're into the bridge, which is a new section, so I'll teach you that now. Okay guys, so the bridge is the last new section that I'm going to be teaching you. It's quite fun, it's quite easy, and it's quite short, so let's get started. The first bar is like this. So that's coming in straight after you finish the chorus for the second time. You want to start it just with one finger, um, probably your first finger on the second string, second string, second fret, and then we're hitting open third and sixth together. Open first, second, first, second, first, and then bring your thumb up and over. 
for the uh, second fret of the sixth string along with open third. So that bar again. The next bar, the melody on the bottom is the same. So we're still just doing. But the bass notes this time are going to be fourth fret on the sixth string and then third fret on the fifth string. So that together So when you play that with the first bar as well, then we're coming in again to repeat the first bar. At this point, instead of going to the fourth fret of the sixth string, you come to the fifth fret of the fifth string. Same melody until the last beat and you're going to do open 6 and pull off 1st string to open. And then we start this little uh, run section. So bring your thumb over for the 2nd fret 6th string bass note. Once you've hit that, you want to stretch like this and do a pull off run 5-3-0 on the 1st string and then 2nd fret, 2nd string. Then we're hitting open 5th bass note. You can keep your finger where it is now, so you should still just be on the 2nd fret, 2nd string. After you've hit that new bass note, open 3rd, 2nd. On the 1st string, put your 1st finger down and pull off 1st to open. And then 2nd string again. So that bar. Next bar. You notice we're not doing any slaps for the bridge. So that bar starts on the third fret, like a almost like a C bass note would be. And then we're doing a little pull off run. So starting on the first string, one to open, second string, two to open, third string, second fret. Just hit that once. Then we're sliding on the 5th string, 3rd fret to 5th fret. Then we're hitting 5th fret on the 3rd string, and then 5th fret on the 2nd string, pulling off to the 4th fret. So that bar slowly. Then we're going back to the start. But it ends there, so you don't do any more bass notes. And I like to kind of get louder as I play this bar, since it's the kind of last bar of the, uh, the bridge. Then I do a little percussive part. I think it's just something like that, so just like a muted finger roll. Slap here, slap there. And then, since the line of uh, the vocals at this point, aren't really melodic, they're more just kind of conversational. I just hit three mutant notes. And then straight in to that leading in part of the chorus. Or the pre-chorus rather. So at that point, you're just going into the pre-chorus, you're playing the chorus again, and then that's the song finished. There's no outro or end or anything, it just ends on the uh, part like that, and you're done. What's up guys, thank you for watching this tutorial, I hope it helped you learn the song. Remember you can find free tabs in the description below. Please remember to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Okay.